Hi, my name is Mark Hamilton, and today I'll be sharing our work on unsupervised semantic segmentation by distilling feature correspondences. The aim of this work is to take a large and complex corpus of images and to classify every single pixel of these images into a consistent ontology of objects. The main catch is that unlike prior work, we aim to do this entirely without labels. Our work is based on recent advances in self-supervised feature learning. These systems take augmentations of images and pump them through a shared visual backbone. This creates spatially varying features which can then be pooled together and pushed together if they come from the same image or pushed apart if they come from different images. We can then remove these final pooling layers to be left with just the dense spatially varying features. By comparing different regions across images using cosine similarity in feature space, we find that these features already know how to put images in dense correspondence with each other. We find that when two points have very similar features, it's highly likely that these points will share the same label in our ground truth dataset. In other words, though we don't have access to labels, we do have access to a great proxy for the ground truth label co-occurrence, namely the feature correspondences. This forms the key supervisory signal in our algorithm, Stego. Intuitively, Stego aims to predict classes for each object that have the same patterns as the features themselves. To accomplish this, we take images and we featureize them with a frozen visual transformer. We extract their feature correspondence tensor to serve as this supervisory signal. We then take these visual features and learn a slight transformation that we call the segmentation head. This will output segmentation embeddings, which we then hope will distill and amplify the structure of the features. We replicate this across pairs of images and k-nearest neighbors, images in themselves, and images and random other images in the collection. At inference time, we take an image, we pass it through the visual transformer in the segmentation head, we cluster the resulting segmentation embeddings, and refine these clusters with a conditional random field. We evaluate Stego on several existing datasets in the literature. The first, Coco Stuff, contains natural images and 27 different classes of objects. The previous state-of-the-art PICE is able to get the rough gist of these images but is unable to resolve fine-grained structure and cluttered scenes. In contrast, Stegel performs well in cluttered scenes and is able to accurately classify many of the different objects in this collection. These improved qualitative results also yield a considerable increase in quantitative metrics as well. We find that Stego nearly doubles mean intersection over union in both an unsupervised Hungarian matching style evaluation as well as linear probe transfer learning. Furthermore, Stego generalizes to a wide variety of different domains. Stego is able to accurately segment people, vehicles, roads, bicyclists, and traffic signs in the cityscapes dataset, and yields a similar doubling of mean intersection over union. On the Potsdam 3 aerial segmentation challenge, Stego is able to accurately detect roads, buildings, and vegetation with an increase of 12 points of accuracy compared to prior state-of-the-art methods. Thank you very much for watching, and please feel free to check out our website and paper to learn more.